Thank you for watching this Rockin' and Roman video. In this video, we are going to be telling and showing you our favorite hikes in Kanab, Utah. We travel the USA in our RV and have spent the past two weeks here in Kanab and have loved every moment of it. We've done some great hikes and are so excited to share them with you so that you can also do some great hikes when you go to Kanab. Please let us know in the comments which of these hikes you're most excited to go on or if you've been to these hikes, tell us which one was your favorite. So there are countless great hikes in Kanab, Utah, but there are a few that really stood out to us. There's two shorter hikes that I definitely recommend, which is the McCoy Caves right on Highway 89. and Belly of the Dragon, which is also right on Highway 89, right before you hit the Mount Carmel Junction. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Woo! What do you think, Tacoma? Scary? Two of the longer hikes that you have to do if you're there is Red Canyon via the Peekaboo Trail and Cutler Point, which is like a secret hike that there's no way to get there uh, unless you look really hard on the internet. We actually have videos to Cutler Point and to Peekaboo to Red Canyon, and I'll link both of those in the description. That way you can check them out if it looks like something that you'd like to do and want to know a little bit more about it. There's also some really great spots that are within about an hour drive of Kanab. There's like the most popular one in Zion, Angel's Landing, which is, they say five miles, but it's, it's, it's definitely more. longer than yeah. five miles and very treacherous, but it's definitely worth it. So there's Angel's Landing, which is west in Zion. And then south, you can go to Buckskin Gulch, which is a really huge slot canyon. We only hiked a little bit of it through Wire Pass, but if you wanted to hike the whole Buckskin, it's like 15 miles. Also, if you want to keep going south into Page, Arizona, there is the famous Antelope Canyon. And we didn't do the tour that you're supposed to do. We did the kayaking trip through it, but we saw the same prettiness. So. Those are really cool hikes that you can do within an hour of Kanab. Absolutely, and we actually have links to videos of all those hikes as well, so that if you think you might want to do it, you can check out the video and see what it's going to look like, what it's going to take, and decide if it's worth it on your trip. Also, one that we weren't able to do is The Wave, which is a famous destination people come from all over the world to see, and only a few people are lit in to see it every day. So definitely look that up online if you want to do that. We have links in the description to all the hikes that we've done and made videos of so that you can see if it looks like something you would like to do. All of them are great hikes, and I'm sure you'll have a great time. If we could only do one of these hikes... I think that for me, I would definitely do Buckskin Gulch the way that the walls are just so tall and dark and it's so narrow it is just otherworldly and to me that was probably my favorite hike while we were in the area. For me, it would probably be Cutler Point. The adventure to get to Cutler Point was really cool and like just being able to see that and that it's very not known is a very unique place to be and it was 
something spectacular. So that was my favorite. Let us know in the comments which hike you are most excited to do when you're in Kanab. Also let us know if you have done any of these hikes and which one was your favorite.